Hello, students and parents. My name is Scott Carroll. I'm principal at the Dr. Manuel M. Lopez Academy here in Oxnard School District. We've been sending lots of information to you, but I want to share a video, a short video today that's going to give you more information about the start of the school year. Um, but just know that any information you don't get here, feel free to email us um, or call us here at the school at any time so we can work with you. But once again, welcome to the start of a new school year. So the first question that we're going to talk about is how do students access their teacher Zoom session on the very first day of school, which is next Wednesday, Wednesday, August 19th. So there's actually three different ways students can do that. The first is we have already sent out Google Classroom invitations to every single student by grade level. So the invitations will say either sixth grade student resource center, seventh grade student resource center, or eighth grade student resource center, depending upon your uh, current grade level. So if you accept that invitation, there will be a document in there that will have all the links uh, for the first day classes. So you'll click on your period one teacher's link, period one, period two, period two, and so on. So you should have already got this uh, invitation, but if not, um, please let us know. But I am, the links will be posted by next Tuesday, the day before school starts. So that's one way. Another way is to check our Lopez Academy website. We will have all the first day links there. Notice though, it's only the first day after that, teachers will share how they want students to get the direct links to Zoom sessions. The third way is you can check your student or parent email the night before. You will email out the link uh, for all the links to parents and students. Um, parents, we need to have your email um, on file in order to do that. Students, you should all know how to check your school district email. It hasn't changed um, since last year. So there are three different ways that you can access your child's uh, Zoom on the first day of school, which is Wednesday. All right, when do students pick up their schedule and first day package? So if you are a seventh grader with last names A through L, your time is Monday between nine and 12. So come on by Monday between nine and 12, and you can pick up your student schedule for this year, as well as first day packets. Seventh and eighth graders with last names M to Z, your time is also Monday between one and four. This is important, sixth and seventh graders. If you have not yet returned your textbooks from last year, you need to make sure you bring those in when you pick up your schedules. We need those so we can redistribute the following uh, week. Sixth graders, our newest students at the Lopez Academy. First of all, welcome. We are excited to work with you. You should also be getting an orientation video today or tomorrow sent to your email address as well. So I hope you enjoy that. So sixth graders, your day to pick up schedules and your first day packet is Tuesday. So if your last name is A through L, you'll pick it up Tuesday morning between 9 and 12. Uh, sixth graders last name M to Z, that'll take place Tuesday from one until four. So sixth graders, your day is Tuesday, seventh and eighth graders, Monday. Once again, seventh and eighth graders, don't forget to bring those textbooks if you haven't returned them already. All right, parents, this is for you. How do parents communicate with teachers? So there are several different ways you can do that. Probably the most effective way and the quickest way is via email. All teacher email addresses are posted on our website, so you can start there. Um, worst comes to worst, you can always call us here at the office and we'll help you out, but the best and quickest way to get a hold of teachers is gonna be through their email addresses. And they should get back to you within 24 hours. If they don't, um, let us know and we'll make sure that we connect you. Um, parents, just so you know, in the future, you will have access to Canvas, just like our students will, um, to communicate and monitor your child's progress. So if you don't know about Canvas, it's a learning management system. Um, as soon as we're fully migrated, which will be early September most likely, students will go to Canvas for all their assignments, for all their links to monitor their grades. That'll be a one-stop shop for everything they're going to need to be a student this year. So we'll give you more information about Canvas, but know that um, once that's in place in a few weeks, um, it's going to make um, students and parents your life much easier um, accessing work and assignments from teachers. Our school office, if you need to communicate with us, you can stop by our school office, regular hours, eight to four, Monday through Friday. Um, we will um, meet you at the door and talk to you from a social distance, of course, but we do wanna answer your questions. So you can um, come by our office Monday through Friday from eight to four. If you wanna give us a call, um, our school office phone number is 805-385-1545. All right, so there's been lots of questions about what does a student's daily schedule look like during distance learning? And before we talk about that, I wanna let you know that we would all prefer if we were learning in person, um, but at this point, it's just not safe to do that with students. 
but know that our goal is to return students to the classroom, um, physically in the classroom as soon as we can, as soon as our school board and our county and health officials deem that it's safe. So in the meantime, we are distance learning 100% of the time. So just so you know, each student will have a live lesson twice a week with each class. So your, your student's first period teacher, for example, um, twice a week, your student will have a Zoom session live that they need to attend with that teacher. Um, and second period and third period all the way through sixth period. So twice a week, students will Zoom live with each of their teachers each period. Daily student schedule is posted on our school website and the Oxnard School District website, but I'm also gonna show you in a second so we can do a little bit of review on that, but know that you can find that schedule at any time on our website. All right, it's important to understand that students will have assignments daily from all classes. So even though students will be live with three classes per day, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, they will have assignments or projects to complete for all classes every single day. So that's six classes per day. All right, so you can see our school, daily school uh, student schedule for distance learning here. Um, this is the same for all three of the six to eight middle schools in Oxnard School District. Um, and I don't expect you, I know this is kind of small, the best way to look at it is on our website, but I wanna go over some highlights. So just so you know, um, so on Mondays and Thursdays, students will be live with their teachers from their period one teacher, their period two teacher, and their period three teacher. They will be live um, in the times mentioned on the schedule, Monday and Thursday. Periods four, five, and six. So there are other three teachers they will be live with on Tuesday, and Friday, so it alternates. Every other day, students will be live with one of their teachers. Students will have non-live or asynchronous assignments on days when they don't meet with the teachers. So for example, Monday, students see periods one, two, and three live with their teachers, but they will still have assignments to complete for periods four, five, and six that the teacher will let them know about, and it'll be posted on Canvas once that's up and running. So it's important to understand that students will have work to do in all periods every single day. Um, students and parents, please feel free to reach out to your teachers if you have any questions about the assignments. No, we know this is new for parents and students, but it's also new for us at school. So um, there may be some snags, there may be some communication issues. We encourage you, reach out directly to your child's teacher with any questions about assignments, about when a teacher is gonna Zoom, anything like that, um, reach out directly to the teacher. Um, students are expected to be present for all live class meetings with their teacher. We will be taking attendance primarily through participation in the Zoom sessions. So um, watching a recorded session later is not going to be an option um, for attendance. Students will need to attend live in order to get credit for, for attending school on that day. Um, if you have any questions uh, for, for about uh, assignments or when a teacher is gonna Zoom, like I mentioned, once again, the best person to reach out to is gonna be the teacher first because they're gonna have that class specific information that we may not have in the office because we have 50 different teachers. So that's our daily schedule. Um, we know it's gonna be an adjustment for everybody, but we really do encourage students to have this posted at your house and to make sure you work with your students um, every single day to make sure they're staying on schedule. All right. so. I'm gonna bring this, left, this video to a close in a second here, but we wanna say a couple things before we go. One is we know that distance learning is a challenge for students, for families, and for frankly us as a staff as well. We understand that, it's new for many of us, um, but we're gonna make the very best out of it. And, and we wanna make sure that we are, even through a distance, creating rigorous and engaging lessons for our students that, that are gonna allow them to access the California content standards every single day. So. It's a work in progress. We know we're gonna get better and better at it, but know that, um, that, that we understand that it's a challenge. Um, we will be hosting live meetings uh, for parents or students that do have questions. This will take place at least once per week for the first three or four weeks of the school year. We'll send out links via email, uh, social media, and our other communication methods, and let you know, parents, students, you're gonna be free to join us to ask any questions about things you may not understand, whether it's the schedule, or anything like that. Um, so keep an eye out for the invitations to these meetings. Last and most important thing I wanna point out is this distance learning that we're gonna be doing starting next Wednesday, August 19th, is not the same as it was in the spring. We expect students to fully engage. We expect that students are gonna have a full day's worth of work every single day. 
We're also, it's important to know that we are going back to traditional grading. So there's no credit or no credit anymore. Students will receive normal grades, A, B, C, D, F. Um, so it's important that they engage right from the beginning of the school year and continue to do the work and, and, and live Zoom with their teachers every time they need to. Attendance matters. As you know, school attendance is mandatory for anyone under the age of 18 in the state of California. We have an, a lawful obligation to make sure all students attend school regularly, um, including distance learning. So attendance does matter. Um, make sure your student is Zooming in every single day when they need to and completing assignments. Last, I mentioned this a little bit, um, our Canvas, our learning management program, will be available very soon for students and parents. Once this is up and running, this will be a one stop for students to communicate with all their teachers, to get all their assignments, everything they need to function as a student during the school day is gonna be found on Canvas. So this is gonna be uh, much better than it was last year when we had different platforms and, and lots of things going on, lots of passwords, I understand that. So um, once Canvas is up and running, um, it will be a great a place for parents and for students to go on a regular basis. Students should be there every single school day. Parents regularly also to check on student progress. You can check grades in there. You can check on assignments in there. You can communicate with teachers in there. So it's going to be really, really important that once we have this up and running, that students engage every single day. All right. Thank you very much for tuning in. We will have more videos, including another one that's going to come out on the first day of school that's going to welcome everyone back. But once again, thank you on behalf of our Lopez Academy staff. Um, I'm Scott Carroll, the principal. You can see my uh, email information below. You can also see the email, email excuse me, information for Mrs. Reagan, our assistant principal, and for Mr. Miris, our counselor. Our other counselor is currently on leave, but you can email any of the three of us, or you can simply call the school with any questions. We look forward to making this a great year with you and your student, and please do not hesitate to reach out at any time. Thank you and have a great day.